Hey guys, in this video, we're going to look at the top for best home printers available on the market today. We made this list based on our own opinion, research, and customer reviews. We've considered their quality, features, and value when narrowing down the best choices possible. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description box below. Number 4. Brother MFCJ 5855DW Ink Vestment Tank Color Inkjet All-in-One Printer The Brother MFCJ 5855DW is an absolute beast of a printer, both in terms of physical size and print prowess. Its desk-swallowing footprint accommodates a 250-sheet paper tray that can hold media up to 11 by 17 inches. There's also a bypass tray for feeding photo paper and envelopes without having to swap out your main paper supply. This machine was refreshingly easy to set up, with little packaging to remove and easy to install ink cartridges. A spacious touchscreen interface made quick work of the initial configuration, and I like the detailed instruction manual, which included links and QR codes to set up videos online. The Brother was one of the fastest inkjet printers I tested, at least for documents. Photos took longer to print and appeared a bit grainy, but they exhibited good color quality overall. In our test document, text looked a touch soft and overly dark, but images and graphics were solid overall. Brother's mobile app puts print, skin, and copy controls at your fingertips, but the desktop software is dated and limited, offering just basic scan tools. Brother promises that the four included investment cartridges can last you up to one year based on 300 pages per month. A replacement set costs about $100 that still translates to an extremely low cost per page, around one cent per monochrome page and five cents per color, making this a great fit for small offices that need to print big on a budget. Number three. Canon Image Class MF for 6 to DW all in one wireless monochrome laser printer. With its oversized touchscreen, dual input trays, and sizable footprint, the Canon Image Class MF for 6 to DW looks like something you'd find in a fancy office. Fortunately, it's priced to fit home budgets on sale. Its price dips to $250 or less. I tested the previous model, the Image Class MF for 5 to DW which was the fastest printer I tested, and it aced my test document, producing razor-sharp text and smooth, well-balanced images. Once I got this big, heavy 34-pound machine situated and removed all the packing tape there was an unusually large amount of packing tape, the printer was ready to use. The toner cartridge came installed and ready to use something I've never seen in a laser printer and it's roomy. 5-inch touchscreen made it easy to get connected to the Wi-Fi network and to navigate the print, copy, skin, and fax functions. However, Canon's only desktop software setup instruction was a CURT. There's very little this printer doesn't do. Aside from its rapid print speeds, its standout features include a 250-sheet input tray, a 100-sheet multipurpose tray for things like envelopes and labels. You can scan documents directly to the cloud service of your choice. If you really want to get into volume printing, you can add an optional third 550 sheet tray to the bottom of the printer, an accessory that reflects this model's intended office use. The printer includes a standard toner cartridge that should last for about 3,100 pages. A standard replacement costs about $100, well, Canon's high-yield cartridge good for nearly 10,000 pages costs around $225. To put that in some perspective, a typical inkjet might be good for only a couple hundred pages before you need new ink cartridges. Laser printer toner doesn't dry out the way ink does. Plus, you don't have to worry about a print head getting clogged up, a common issue with inkjet printers. This is why I often champion laser printers to home users who don't print very often. They present fewer hassles and are cheaper to operate over the long haul. Number 2. HP DeskJet for 155E Wireless Color Inkjet Printer How good can a $100 all-in-one printer possibly be? In the case of HP's DeskJet for 155E, surprisingly good. 
It looks and functions like something pricier, starting with its 35-sheet ADFA feature that's uncommon at this price although, the similarly priced Brother MFCJ101 ODW has an ADF as well. Even better, it prints well on copy paper, though in my tests this model proved it was no speed demon. The HP DeskJet for 155E is a little more challenging to set up than its larger cousin. It includes a terse, incomplete setup guide. Curiously, the guide doesn't mention how to install ink cartridges. For that, you have to look at the separate reference guide. This printer uses a single black and a single color cartridge behind a deeply recessed access panel one found tricky to open. Continuing the setup was smooth sailing thanks to HP Smart, a novice-friendly mobile app that handles connecting to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for setup. The app also puts a lot of the printer's core functions at your fingertips with a clear, visual interface a welcome find, considering the printer has just a single-line monochrome display and buttons to navigate its functions and settings. The app also enables faxing a scanned document, something the printer can't do directly. Another, super handy shortcuts, like scan to Google Drive and print, email, and save. Though admirably compact at 13.1x 16.9x 7.9 inches, the HP DeskJet for 155E needs several inches of front and rear clearance to accommodate its input and output trays. The input tray tilts out from the back and holds just 60 sheets, so plan on reloading fairly regularly. It's also kind of a pain, forcing you to lean way over the printer to see what you're doing the ADF partially obstructs the view. The input tray sliding paper guide is challenging, too it's both hard to see and hard to reach. If you often switch among paper, envelopes, photos, and the like, you might prefer a printer with a front-loading paper tray like the Brother MFCJ101 ODW. The HP DeskJet for 155E has a basic control panel, with the aforementioned small status LCD flanked by seven buttons. On the right, press the color button offset by an array of colors or the monochrome button to copy a document. Press multiple times to increase the number of copies. The left buttons are less intuitive. One toggles wireless on and off, another resumes print jobs, and the I button? Well, you'd think pressing I would show information on the LCD, but it actually prints an information page. It took the HP DeskJet for 155E nearly two minutes to print our 10-page sample document, making it the slowest model tested. Its text was dark and sharp, though, the best of the value contenders. I was surprised the printer had more PEB when printing photos, where it output my test images quickly and produced good overall results. In my test document, graphics and images exhibited vibrant color, but appeared grainy. Unsurprisingly, switching to the best print quality setting yields vastly improved results, though doing so makes an already slow printer even slower. The HP DeskJet for 155E comes with a 6-month HP Instant Ink trial so you can decide if an ink subscription works for you. You must sign up for that trial within the first 7 days of installing the printer, and doing so requires a credit card. As with many such trials, you'll need to cancel to avoid getting billed once it expires. You also need to register for HP Plus to unlock certain printer benefits, including a second year of warranty coverage, but there's no charge for that. If the subscription isn't a good fit, a standard dual cartridge replacement set would cost you about $30 to dollars. A high yield set about $53 that translates to a relatively high cost per page of around 14 cents with a standard black cartridge yielding 120 pages, a standard color 100. A subscription has the potential to reduce those costs. While not perfect, the HP DeskJet for 155E handles basic printing, scanning, and copying chores very well, at a low upfront cost, and with better quality than competing models. And it has the best companion app of any home printer manufacturer. Number 1. HP OfficeJet Pro 9125E All-in-One Printer The HP OfficeJet Pro 91-5E is my top pick for the home. It can quickly print, scan, copy, and even fax, if needed. 
It's a great do-it-all package that should be able to handle all of your home and home office printer needs. From copying permission slips to printing family photos, the printer is easy to set up. Just plug it in and follow the online guide, which takes you through installing the four ink cartridges, connecting it to your Wi-Fi and printing a test page that the printer itself scans to check that everything is working. This setup guide also links you to the HP Smart app, available for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS. This simple app allows you to print, scan, and copy documents over any internet connection. It also allows you to scan a document and send it straight to someone over email or to upload scans to Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, or HP's own Scan Cloud service. The OfficeJet Pro 9 to 5E also offers Ethernet and USB connections, and the small but flexible to 0.7-inch touchscreen provides easy access to these features on the device itself. You can also create shortcuts on the display, which is very useful for common tasks. It's a fairly large printer, occupying a sizable 17 by 20 inches when the output tray is extended. It was also the fastest inkjet printer I tested, finishing a 10-page sample document in just 45 seconds. Overall, the print quality was excellent. Graphics looked crisp and vibrant, and the text appeared dark and uniform, though with just a trace of splotchiness on the default normal quality setting. That vanished when I used the best quality setting, but that to slow printing down, my test document took just under 2 minutes on that setting. This printer's one weakness lies with its photo printing. It produced smooth, passable images that I deem good enough for home projects, but not of the same caliber as others I tested. If you plan on printing a lot of photos, I'd suggest considering a dedicated photo printer. Like most printers, the real cost is in the consumables, i.e., the ink it uses to print. A replacement set of for Ecomore ink cartridges sells for about $238. $79.99 for the large black and $50 to $0.99 each for the cyan, magenta, and yellow. That's more than the printer itself. HP claims the black will print 2,500 pages, while the color cartridges are good for 1,650 pages. That's about $0.03 cents per black page and about $0.09 cents per color page. You can bring those costs down by subscribing to HP's Instant Ink program, which automatically ships new cartridges to you when the printer detects it's close to running out. The program's pricing ranges from $0.99 cents to $25 per month, depending on how many pages you print, and you get a free 6-month trial so you can test the subscription waters. You must sign up for that trial within the first seven days of installing the printer, and doing so requires a credit card. As with many such trials, you'll need to cancel to avoid getting billed once it expires. You also need to register for HP Plus at no charge to unlock certain benefits, including a second year of warranty coverage. HP also offers a similar model the HP OfficeJet 9010E on its all-in subscription plan, where a higher monthly fee includes the printer itself and a limited ink subscription. The HP OfficeJet 9 to 5 e is a superb home printer that combines stylish looks with fast, high-quality printing. In a perfect world, it would support a second paper source and print better photos, but otherwise it's easy to recommend as a standout in a sea of printer choices.